Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Rosalind. Happy Sunday. Welcome. Who else do we have in the chat tonight? If, hola, Carmen. Hello, Shirley. Welcome, ladies. I think I've got the... Hello, Diva 9000, Clove, happy Sunday. Carnella, Carmella, did I see that right? JL Baggins, hello, hi, Shadow. Hello, Denise, welcome, ladies. If you would, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I, um, I was really, hello, Bernadette, I was really contemplating not coming on tonight. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Q. I have been in chill mode all day and there is nothing that makes me happier than a fall back. I don't know about the rest of you, but I thoroughly uh, enjoyed and greatly needed, hi Rosalind, um, that extra hour. So I'm not going to keep you long because I still have some stuff I want to get done uh, here at the house before the work week kicks off, including one more load of laundry. So y'all know how that goes. Um, but what I wanted to do is um, first ask you to, you know, thumbs up the video if you've taken the time to come hang out. But I have this bag that has been... <laughs> Uh, around the mulberry bush and back again um, to the point that I thought that I shared everything that was in here but evidently I started dropping other stuff in here from my trips to coach because I found this one and this one and I know we already talked about these so evidently I must have not covered everything during that particular live that I wanted to cover because I have some stuff that came in the mail as well from Coach. So this one I opened because I remember when it came and I wanted to check and make sure everything was in here. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. It feels like it may have like DJ King written all over it. This feels like it may have been an influence purchase, if my memory serves me correctly, but I'm not sure. Um, and then I lastly went to coach this week um, and just picked up two more of my coveted beloved accessory from them so we're gonna just jump right in so if uh you have been on coach in coach around coach heard of coach bought coach just in general then you have seen this little number um you've probably seen it in silver as well as in gold um, I know that um, there are a couple of channels that have shown straps that they've picked up from places like Amazon. Um, they're, I'm trying to think if somebody has the one from Coach. Maybe the silver. I can't remember now. Um, but I picked up what I'm going to call uh, another replacement strap, right? It's kind of been the year of straps, and this is a 46-inch chain strap from Coach. It also comes in silver. Hardware clasp. Y'all have seen these, right? Well, I initially thought about this because when I opened a little while back, the Lollipop Swirl Willis, y'all know that pink strap about took me out. So I thought that whether it's a wallet on a strap or using it as a purse or a crossbody, um, that I needed to find something that I could use with it that was going to appear less pink. 
And then after I actually placed the order, I started thinking about all different kinds of other things that I could use the strap for, including this, that may be why this was all in the bag together. But this this is a little bit of like an antique gold, right? You can kind of, you can tell the difference, more brassy, shiny gold, more of an old gold strap. But because these have the hardware, I can also use the chain strap to make this into a little bit more of a shoulder bag as opposed to using it as a wristlet. Um, or just carrying it by hand. So I, you know, it, I don't know that I would really call it an accessory, but clearly it was hanging out in a bag waiting to be shared. So now I've shared it and I can put the rest of this coach stuff up and figure out how I'm going to store this strap because it is not going to hang where I don't think the hardware is going to work where the others are hanging all right so next item is a double zip wallet in the color bright cardinal so I had picked up several of the double zip wallets and fall head over heels in love with them. But the one color that I really wanted was red and it was nowhere to be found. And then before coach got really crazy and um, my username and password now only open up to wish lists on their outlet site they I, you know here neither here nor there i can't it, they don't it doesn't seem like it wants to let me in but anyway um if you want to know what i'm talking about check out mrs q's for real friday because she talked about the coach outlet and some of the frustration points there but one of the things that i really wanted was a red and it was not available. And then one day I signed in to shop the outlet sale or at least to browse the um, outlet sale. And there it was, plain as day, listed as new. <sighs> Y'all, I've already confirmed that this accessory is perfect. My phone fits with the case and the pop socket on the back. Six card slots, so my cards fit with no issues wristlet strap so it's convenient going through the airport and all of the other places that you only need a wallet and for them to bring it in cardinal red like the perfect red so much in fact that I thought I pulled maybe I didn't I, I probably dreamt that I pulled a red out but I want I do want to show you a comparison I thought I pulled out the bag, but I guess I didn't. So this is the uh, clutch wristlet, pebbled clutch wristlet in the color red from Dooney and Burt, pebbled leather. This is the bright cardinal in coach, and as you can tell, textured little pebbled leather, just so that you can kind of get a feel for the color difference. This is definitely a little bit more muted. To me, this is more of a true red, a brighter red. So I am happy that this was available. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to find it now because shortly after I picked this one up, which was, I think like August. That's how long, yeah. I think it was August, maybe no, it was August. Um, shortly after that, it was no longer available on the site, and I haven't seen it except in one store. I was in Coach last week and didn't see hide or tail of the red. So this one may be gone, but let me give you, I think I can find the item number. All right, it is 
item F is in Frank 87587. Again, F is in Frank 87587, and the color is Bright Cardinal. So is that going to focus? F87587, Bright Cardinal. So if anybody is into reds or wanting to give this little accessory a try, I highly recommend it. Um, and I think this will work if you are a small, a medium, a medium, or a large. Thank you for capturing it, Kim. Um, this, this will work regardless of the size wallet that you, I think, right? Unless you're more this size for a wallet, then this probably won't work. Just so that you kind of have a size comparison. This is just a corner zip wristlet. And this is the double corner zip wallet, both from Coach. All right. So I'm moving into this, by the way. I'm getting ready to move into that. All right. So this is going to be um, a quick one, I think. So I need to check and see what's in this one before I start talking. Just to... I hate the fact that these pouches have asbestos in them. <laughs> All right, what is this? All right, so yep. This is another coach purchase and it is absolutely a DJ King enabled me purchase that stuff is still am i the only one that gets packages from coach that have that poly feel asbestos stuff in the middle anyway um so this i picked up or maybe i zailed her I don't know. when i was on this kick of i'm gonna Russell as a handbag and I'm going to use a, an oversized junk drawer as my catch-all in my purse and y'all know that died very quickly on the vine but I will figure out a way or a place to use this let me see this was a purchase back in August as well. And out of the men's section, but I fell in love with this just because I love this coach radio print. You saw it here in the uh, monogram. And you saw it here, but this one, the smooth black leather, which matches um, my backpack that I'm using from Coach for work. So I thought um, I might be able to use it in there for work. Red zipper, so y'all know I was so in. Anything red. And if all else fails, I can use this as a tech case in my laptop and my laptop bag or backpack for work black interior not I just I am so spoiled by Dooney um, in that I think with all of the issues the brand has had they have yet to put a black lining in a bag and I am so thankful that they have not now, for me, they can keep a red lining in every bag, henceforth and forevermore, and I will never, ever complain. Um, but I know that some people in the community would like something other than red or would like for them to change it up, and they do periodically. Um, but I appreciate the fact that they don't do black, and that keeps the inside of my bag, my large bags, from coming 
from becoming like the, you know, like the abyss where you can't find anything. So I think this may work better for work for me. It does have two card slots here on the front wall. See, front wall. And then the snap pocket, slip pocket on the back. So I'm thinking my cords, maybe I could use it as a tech case. I can definitely put my um, wireless mouse in here, but I just, oh, their smooth leather is amazing. And I just like this. I don't know why, but I do. So I picked it up. All right, like I said, this is going to be quick tonight. There's the zipper pull. Y'all, sometimes I find it hard to believe that these accessories are men's accessories, that they're in the men's department. I do wish they would revamp the interior and give us a lighter lining for one. And two would be that they change up the organization. Give me six card slots in here as well. Um, and maybe a center divider and a, slip, a snap pocket or a slip snap pocket. Give me a wristlet and I, I think this would be perfect beyond that. I wouldn't be forced to use it as a tech case. I do um, find that this is going to go perfectly with my natural Russell in all sizes with my red and not only Russell, but there's a little bit of like a Bordeaux or crim um, crimson here. So it would work. Uh, it'll go with my Ecru. It will go with steel blue with navy. It's going to go with your olives and your ferns so i just think that this it has a lot of great potential not to mention you can always throw it inside of a black bag okay this is gonna wrap up quick all right so last two things which are currently available at the outlet more of these but in different colors so the first one is in this new color called dark fuchsia so dark fuchsia and this is red red dark fuchsia when I saw this, for some strange reason, I had a flash and thought of one of the $5 Target pouches that many of us picked up this summer and thought maybe it will pair with the lips. Dark fuchsia, Kim, no pink, dark fuchsia. I thought it would go with the lips. So when I got home, I of course pulled it out and I do think that this is going to pair beautifully. Not so much with the red. I mean, I could make the red work, but you can tell that's not red. It's not true red, at least in there. Carmen, Kim, stop. I'm going to cry. Just kidding, ladies. Um, <laughs> so I think that, you know, if you're curious about the dark fuchsia, I think uh, Friday, Mrs. Q scrolled through some of the ads that were showing some of the newer colors. And the dark fuchsia was featured, um, not necessarily in one of the ads, but I think that as she scrolled through the call, this one came through. Um, thank you, Kim. <laughs> Um, 
So this one, again, I'll give you the item number and the color. It is F is in Frank 87587 and the color is dark fuchsia. Can y'all see that? I need for y'all to be able to see that because y'all are messing with me about me. Tell Rashid I said, stay out of this. He's not helping my case. <laughs> ah, it's not going to focus. But do you see that dark fuchsia? These were $49. And I picked them up Thursday night. So there's that one. And then this one was in Mrs. Q's ad as she scrolled through. And I thought it would be a good one. Well, one, it's a good addition to my collection. Kim is not pink. dark fuchsia <laughs> all right so this one <laughs> um i thought you know what color wise oh excuse me that stuff package stuff is still floating everywhere got me sneezing now but this is the one that I, I that absolutely stopped me in my tracks. <laughs> and, and I'm hoping that it's going to show up on camera, the metallic of it. And it is this one here. This one was in the ad that Mrs. Q scrolled through on Friday night. And this one is F87587. And this one is in the color metallic wine. F87587 metallic wine. Oh, uh, it's not going to focus. All right. So I thought that with all of the berry tones, you know, your Bordeaux, your Crimson, Crimson, your Oxblood, um, Cranberry, um, trying to think of what else I may have in my collection. This, I think, will, it's different, right? It's not the gold, the bronze, metallic. But it, oh my goodness, y'all, I completely stopped. I made up in my mind it did not matter if I had anything at all to go with it. The fact is, there are, there is, you know, we won't see a metallic like this likely from Dooney. Um, so I decided I was going to take the plunge. But I love how the color kind of shifts. The shine to it, the gl it's not glitter, but it is, Carmen. It is an absolutely gorgeous color in person. I'm also looking, if I take the plunge this season and purchase another coach bag, because y'all know I just, I bought uh, back in the summer the two terrain bags before going on the tribe cruise. I have not purchased another bag since. Only accessories. Unless you are counting these as bags. But the gallery tote in this color, it has a good shoulder drop. It has a zipper closure. Organization on the inside. And it has an outside zipper pocket. If I take the plunge this season and buy anything from the outlet from coach by way of a handbag it will be this color in the gallery tote thank you ingrid i appreciate it i need buddies in this fight <laughs> so um probably
probably a little too metallic. It might coordinate, but it definitely does not match. Want you to see the difference between the dark fuchsia and the metallic wine. This, I just, both of these I think are just gorgeous. Uh, bright red, dark fuchsia, metallic wine. I also think that maybe... I think that one is going to be definitely the only one, unless we start. Uh, you know what? It's inside my bag. And this, DJ King and I have had this conversation. I've had this conversation with both Sanja and Kim, primarily on days when I'm being lazy and I need to change my bag. And then I'm making excuses Forgot why, for why I'm not changing my accessories. The outside of your bag, in my opinion, is for the public. It's for the people around you, right? It helps to pull an outfit together, give you that polish. Um, it's, 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 an, it's an accessory, right? It pulls everything together or it elevates. But what's inside your bag, that's for you, right? So if your wallet doesn't match and you're okay with that, and I was for years because I was only in like black accessories, believe it or not, have no issue with black accessories, but it, you will be hard pressed to find me carrying a black bag with black accessories. Black accessories in any color, yes. Inside a black bag, you might as well go ahead and prepare your will and say your prayers because the world's about to come to an end for the most part. But the things that are inside your bag, those things are for you, right? Because nobody's walking around seeing what you have. And if you're okay with it not coordinating, that's fine. Whatever you have in there, you pair it together, it coordinates. It's got to because you put it together. But what I think is that when you look inside your bag, and, and mind you, y'all, this is kind of new for me because it has only been because I felt shamed <laughs> coming out of the Chicago meet and greet. I felt ashamed after we all got back home and we started sharing pictures and texting and posting more on Instagram and following each other that I didn't have any pictures that were cute with accessories that made me say wow or honestly they made anybody else say wow either but where I am now is that it's okay Kim it helped me it I'm okay that it was it shamed me because what it did was it forced me to start using the accessories that I had been purchasing it forced me to not be like a man whose wallet has contoured to his butt cheek it forced me to start looking at my accessories in a different way and to elevate or yeah elevate my the use of my accessories which is an amazing thing right instead of me wearing out one black wallet forever and my other accessories never getting touched it put me in a position where I really wanted to use my accessories more now i'm still not at the point um with some of the pictures that i see from kim and sanja and says what um because those ladies are always sharing and posting um their pairings and it makes me sometimes go buy more stuff but it really puts me in a position that when i change my bags i really am thinking now more about my accessories and what I'm putting in my bag so that I can enjoy those extra pieces as well. And with that being said, to bring this thing full circle, outside of the bag is for everybody else. 
the inside of the bag is for you. When you are standing in the line at Target or at the movie theater or wherever you are and it causes you to go in your bag, you should smile a little bit on the inside, I think, when you see that you have like been curating your doggone closet and that there's something special on the inside of that bag that is just for you, right? Because you, I hope you're not one of those people that when you're at the register, you got to take out 50,000 different things in order to find your driver's license. But if you do pull something out, maybe it coordinates back to your bag. Maybe it doesn't. But whatever it is, it should be something that is not only functional, right? Because... Let's face it, it's an accessory, but it has a function. And if it is not functioning for you, then you should be on the hunt to find something else. And I don't care whether you spend $5 for it from five below, $50 for it, or whether you spend thousands of dollars for it. If it's not functional, it's a waste of money because it's supposed to serve a function. And if you aren't happy with it, it was a waste of money, even if it is functional. If every time you look in there, you're miserable with the way it looks, I would just say, maybe it's time for you to wallet accessory shop. That's all I'm saying. So that's it. I have a bunch of packaging now that, oh, it's going to go out to the garbage because it is stirring up us everywhere that's it oh the real culprit I remember now this was supposed to go with this but let me tell you what I found that I love a little bit better than this mainly because of the size and I don't have it in here I'll try to remember to bring it for another week the steel blue medium rustle is amazing it is absolutely amazing if you did not get rough blue in MCM I am not going to compare these two. Um, maybe somebody else will on their channel. I didn't get the Luff Blue because I didn't think I needed it because I'd already purchased the Florentine Medium Satchel in Seal Blue. And I had the Russell in Seal Blue. So I felt like I had enough in the blue. I was completely wrong. I, if, it, if it, it shows back up, in the large size anywhere, I'm gonna pick it up. This one was smooth and I'm very pleased with it. I plan to carry her during the holidays for a little bit. I'm also gonna carry the red one again for a little bit. But to my um, surprise, the Steel Blue Alice Clutch Wristlet and pebbled pairs beautifully like almost perfectly like very 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 subtle shade difference between the Florentine uh, steel blue and the pebbled and when the steel blue first appeared I, I had it in my card and I you know was ready to pull the trigger and then believe it or not just as much as that doggone dj king talks me into stuff she has also talked me out of a lot of stuff as well so i have to give credit where credit is due she talked me out of getting it but if you are anything like me there are some things some decisions and some purchases that when you don't do them at that moment, they have a tendency to haunt you. And that sale ended and I didn't get the Steel Blue Alice 
and several other sales since then. It was still available. It was available on Wallet Wednesday for $59, and I didn't get it then either. But most recently, I did pick it up, and I, I told her, I said, I have to be careful about what you talk me out of, right? Because that accessory has kind of haunted me, and it whether I'm using a big old jump drawer or whether I need, um, you know, a wallet, it will absolutely pair with this. Denim friendly, casual friendly, um, business professional friendly, travel friendly, school friendly, luggage friendly. There's, I, you know, um, I do hope that Russell appears, reappears for the holiday season. And I would be lying if I told you that I didn't want it in Kelly Green. And I know that's a big Kelly Green, but Kelly Green, Sunflower, and Orange. I want those three colors in the medium and the small Russell to be birthed. <laughs> Cause I don't, I've never seen them. But the small and the medium, Kelly Green, Sunflower, and Orange. I have a couple of Orange Florentine bags, and I love them. I have a couple of Sunflower Florentine bags. Love them. And it feels like I am a, a kid begging their parent um, when it comes to Kelly Green. So yet again, I will beg for Kelly Green in both the small and the medium Russell. We'll see how long if anybody, see how see if anyone and if they are, how long it takes for somebody at Dini to deliver on those things. So the strap, I feel like I now need the silver as well because there are a few uh, Dooney bags that have silver. And I also, like, um, do I have anything close with silver? I don't think I have anything close with silver. But... There are some bags that have silver hardware, and I think it would be great for me to add that last piece so that I have the flexibility to swap 46 inches, metallic wine, dark fuchsia, fuchsia, Right, cardinal and the radial print. So that's all I have. Y'all, I um confess I have been working on organization and I'm still playing around with my accessories. Um my color stories are starting to fall apart, not completely, not completely. But what I found is that my larger accessories, like the clutch wristlets, like the Willis, like the Alice's, <clears throat> they were taking up so much space in my color story boxes that I felt like they needed storage separately. I felt that way also about my Carrington's. So I have pulled those out and left my smaller accessories in those color story boxes so at some point i will do share some of that maybe if i ever get it pulled together but i did want to let you know because i shared you know the five tips the the store the color stories are still working but for the larger ones um i it, it just made more sense for me to group them together because they were taking up so much space. 
Um, Ingrid, it is the large, she asked about the large pouch, the item number, and this one is just in the color black. Um, it's F as in Frank, 76865. F as in Frank, 76865. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Diva. Thank you, Kim. So that's it. Um, so... Delise, here's what I'll say about using um, Florentine or in, or any of, not just Russell, but any Florentine in the winter. Um, one, you know, personal choice. Climate has a lot to do with it. But what I will say is that when in doubt, I've just sprayed um, leather protectant on my bags um i don't have because it's in the vault i don't have the brand that i use used or use because I, I keep with the same one um but i did spray my smith and natural um and I also sprayed, um, mm, what was it? Something else that I carried earlier in the year and I sprayed it for protection. Um, I do travel with wipes in my bag, um, baby wipes. So I'm, anytime I'm able to wipe them down, if I need to, to Kim's point, salt, um, leather wipes. I sometimes travel with those in my uh, in my laptop bag just because I'm in and out of different places where the weather can be inclement. Um, but you all know that I am a advocate of when your bag gets wet, leave it alone. Don't try to dry it off. Don't spot it. Don't pat it. Just let it dry. Now, y'all, you can disagree with me all you want, and that's fine. Different climates, different uh, environmentals will have will vary those effects, right? But this is what I'm gonna say. Y'all know me and cows have. We're we're like. You know, me and cows are, are, are good. So here's what I will tell you. Growing up, I can remember one Christmas morning that instead of being around the Christmas tree and the gifts, my sister and I were outside um, in the pasture because we had a calf that was born um, on Christmas morning. Named him Christmas. Yeah, real original. So outside, we're, you know, big bottle feeding the baby. It's rain, sprinkling rain, misty on a Christmas morning. And... First thing my mom said was, if I knew that cow was going to have give birth, I could have saved some money because y'all are not interested in any of the gifts that you got. She was right. We could care less. Um, but what I will tell you is that Christmas never came into the house. Ever. Christmas stayed outside. Rain, sleet, snow, thunderstorms, sunshine, hurricanes, tornadoes, ice storms. Have I have I missed any weather? The cow stayed outside. It's leather that it, it is the cow's hide, right? We've had this conversation and 
yada, yada, yada. But what I will tell you is that hide has been wet. Many are wet, many are dirty, many are in the grass, in the mud, in the pollen. And some kind of way, miraculously, at the end of all of that, we end up with leather pieces where you don't see the spots from Christmas having spent years outside in the pasture. On that note, I'm going to leave you with food for thought because cows stay outside. Did he spend some time in a barn under a covered area where the hay and stuff was? Yeah, but he was outside. He spent more time in the rain and outside wandering around than he did in the barn. And quite honestly, he preferred it out there. But I guarantee you that his hide was in good shape, except for the one time that he got hooked on the fence because he was trying to get out. We got that corrected real quick. But I just want you to think about that. Again, do what you want with your bags. It is your bag. Um, nobody is here to twist your arm or to convince you to do otherwise. This community is about sharing and educating each other and sharing what products work, what tools work, the way we use and carry things, what our personal experiences are. But what I will tell you is, that environmental matters. If you live in a place where there's a lot of smog and stuff, I don't know that I want my bag wet either because all of that stuff is being captured in the rain and now depositing on my leather. I probably wouldn't want that either. Um, if I were um, in a place where there's a lot of salt, right, this time of year because of inclement weather, I would say that um, carrying wipes in your bag, whether it's baby wipes or leather wipes, anything has to be better than just letting salt sit on your leather. But I can speak from personal experience. And again, I was in Florida, so salt, salt water in the atmosphere. And I didn't have any issues. Y'all have seen my Buckley. I did not have any issues with it. But again, that was my bag. It was more important for me um, to preserve my hair as I was on my way to a business meeting than it was for me to preserve my bag. Because we all know, I, I, bag or not, um, it, it, either it can be replaced or you can buy something else in, in, in its place. So that's where I am. Um, and Ems, I agree with you. There was something tragic going on where the cows um, for the mob, what, some, something was going on where they where they were living. Those cows, um, they lived a rough life. That you know what? Those cows probably. Um, ended up in not so great foster homes. That's what happened. They, they, they suffered a little bit, unfortunately. So, and it shows, because to Sandra's point, they look like they were a thousand years old. And on that note, I'm going to sign off. Um, enjoy your week. Be safe. Um, if you're someplace where there is still warm weather, enjoy it because other parts of the country are already getting snow. I was in snow last week. Um, I'm looking forward to being home. So I'm hoping we're not going to get snow. All right, ladies, thank you so very much for watching. If you have not been over to check out the content on my Tribe Sisters channel, I would strongly, strongly encourage you to do so. There is some amazing content. And uh, this morning, I had an opportunity to watch a Military Mom Sunday video. And I tell you, there are some clips in her video, if you have not watched it, that in my opinion 
are better than any of the bags that she featured. So I just want to say to Military Mom, thank you for sharing um, with us. Mrs. Q will be on for, I think it's for real, Friday Eve on Thursday, or at least trying to do so. Do I have that right, Mrs. Q? For real, Friday Eve is a possibility this week. I think I got that right. I think my memory serves me correctly. Um, and then my plan is to be back on Sunday for Feed Your Addiction, somewhere between 6 and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, um, before you head out, um, I ask that you hit the thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I would ask that you do so before you head out and that you Hit the bell so that you are alerted anytime that I go live or um, upload content. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.